Hello everyone, uh, let us learn from this Kyoto in Words for Work number 30 today. Those who are smart but cannot get promoted are not team players two-thirds of the time. Think about how to achieve good results as a team. Words for Work number 30, those who are smart but cannot get promoted are not team players two-thirds of the time. Think about how to achieve good results as a team. Thank you, Lord God. All right, um, this teaching is not something that came out for the first time. I believe Master has explained this in numerous times in lectures and uh, off the top of my head, I remember from two Kyotens, uh, which aren't uh, published in English yet, but two of them were based on how not to be restructurized or how not to be fired from work. Uh, there's two different types of books based on that that Master has written. And um, he was saying that one of the biggest um, traits of a person who gets fired are people who are egoistic or egotistic at work. They're only thinking about themselves and they're not thinking about others. Those are the ones who will get laid off first. And so, you know, I was looking at the correlation, the connection between that teaching and this one. And yes, it, it certainly stops us from, you know, getting promoted. That makes a lot of sense. And interesting, right? Messrs. Um, Alcantara's perception is that two-thirds of the time, uh, even if you're smart and if you can't get promoted, two-thirds of the reasons is usually because you're not a team team player. Maybe another third is a different reason, but two-thirds, that's a, that's a huge ratio. So, hmm, not being a team player stops you from getting promoted. Even if you're smart, I think that's the point, even if you're smart. So a lot of the times people who are smart and capable, um, you know, will only think about themselves getting promoted and you can work selfishly. And maybe that tactic will work to a certain degree, but there are always higher ups watching for kind of like not, not headhunting, but looking for the future executives in the company or the future, you know, managerial section potentials. And what they're looking at is not only, um, well, this is, I'm, I'm taking this from master's teachings and other management teachings, but he is saying that what they're looking for is not only people who are capable, that's a must, but um, teamwork is absolutely necessary. And when I say teamwork, I'm not talking about like teamwork and high school soccer team. Uh, teamwork meaning being able to collaborate different people's uh, different skill sets of different people and being able to combine it together so that it kind of like cancels out each person's shortcomings and so that you can manage people so that the whole team can produce more than each person working by themselves. Um, so those are the thoughts that came to my mind. What did you think? Please your thoughts in the comment section and see you again tomorrow. Bye.